Hey guys, Blue Yoshi here. Three days ago, Nintendo released the final two Super Smash Bros. characters, Korn and Bayonetta. Today, I'm going to inform you of Korn's moveset, combos, and his Korn position in my tier list. So let's do this. Now, Korn is a very interesting character in that uh, his combos require move combinations that most others don't use. Um, you would not use Korn as a character that, like, uh, for a newcomer. Um, not, not really easy to use. So, yeah, let's go for his moveset here. So, for his jab, that does 7 damage, and it really makes him go too far to be able to, uh, true combo anything. Now you can use the uh, neutral special condition, uh, which I'll talk about later. But um, it's just not very, uh, it's not very effective. So jab, it's not that bad, but I don't recommend using it. Uh, jab one is just sufficient because then you can combo off of it. Now besides that, uh, we have his rapid jab. For some reason, I can't do this for the life of me. But, uh, does 20 damage, actually. So, very strong move, but it suffers from the same, same problem that it, it just makes them go too far to be able to combo. So, yeah. Now, for his side tilt. Right you. 10%. And, um, you're gonna be using this mid-combo. Uh, you can also use it to start, but, um... It's really just for mid combo and it's very quick for that. So, pretty good move in general. Now, for his up tilt, this does, let's see, 9%. And it kind of has a Mario effect where it's on one side, you got only the top. But on the other side, it has the top and the side here, as you can see. So yeah, um, it's very, it's very good in combos. You're gonna see a lot of it. Now for his down tilt, uh, this is basically the same thing, uh, two percent less being seven percent. But this, uh, you're mainly gonna be starting combos with it. So really, you're just, you're gonna be starting instead of uh, using it mid combo. But don't get me wrong, you can use it mid-combo too, it's just, um, a little slower, I guess. Now, uh, for a side special, this is a very, very interesting side special. Oh, <laughs> whoops, side smash, sorry. <laughs> uh, but it's eight, it does 18%, and the tip is the strongest part. Um, besides that, it's... If you don't hit the tip, then it just doesn't do as much. Now, it also has a really interesting property that most side smashes don't show. It's that uh, this very stout heal, it actually does damage before you release it. So it's like uh, Lucario charging his aura, kinda. But yeah, you can kinda see that. Now, uh, for its up smash, this is very strong at the tip. Who knows, maybe he's, maybe he's secretly moth. Who knows. But yeah, most of his, most of his smashes are just stronger at the tip. So yeah. You want the tip, and you're gonna be using this, uh, mid-combo. Uh, but you can also use it to stall combos, but mainly mid-combo, and yeah. So, yeah. Now, for his down smash. Uh, I was experimenting, and this is uh, what I got. So his the front part of his down smash is actually stronger than his back. So right there, and that's by like three percent. It's it's quite a large margin when yeah when you really think about it. So yeah. Uh, you want to use the fun part of the down smash. Not saying that the back part is necessarily bad. 
because the whole purpose of Down Smash is, just, is normally to catch rolls and ledge options. Uh, so yeah. As for its dash attack, um, it's very slow as in if, if you don't hit them with this, they're gonna punish you. So, just watch out for that. <laughs> Aside from that, you combo very well with this thing. This, this starts combos pretty easily. So, yeah. So, besides that downfall, a uh, pretty good move. Now for his aerial. So his nail, or his neutral ale, does 6 damage, and, um... Yeah, you you just saw it's very it, it covers a large area, as you can see. Uh, that's that's like most neutral AOs. Only the thing about it is that uh, it combos like really well, and it doesn't stay that long. So that's that's the difference for it. Now for his four air, uh, this thing combos like crazy. Um, it does 8%, no, it does 6, if I didn't say that. But yeah, 8%, and you're gonna be seeing this in pretty much every combo. Uh, he's very, very good in the ale. Uh, if you had, if I had to compare him to another character, I'd say that he's basically the moth of Smash 4. Except for, obviously, that he's not moth. But his, his aerial game is a lot like... Um, so yeah. Now, for his ba back air or bail, this is a very, very strong move if you actually hit it. There we go. Does 11%. And you can use this to finish up combos, and it also has this weird thing where you go back, but then you go back in. So you can use this for mind games, and you can, you can use this property for a lot of things. But, um, very, very strong move. You're gonna be using it to end up your combos. Um, and then, up ale. This, this is basically moths. I mean, really. Now, now he's just stealing moths moves now. Um, and combos very, very well. You're gonna be seeing it in most of them. Uh, not as much as a fail, but, uh, very often. So, yeah. Now for his down air, this is the one aerial move that's different than Moth. Uh, and, well, if you don't count Nail, but I think it technically kind of has the same property. But, uh, instead of having a really stylish uh, Meteor that is really hard to do, but is really awesome, uh, you have a Suicide Toon Link down air. That instead of being one hit, it is multiple hits and it hardly meteors. So yeah, not very good. Um, you know, you really aren't going to find yourself using this uh, that much. Not that you really needs a good down ale. But yeah, that's his down ale and his aerials. So now we're going to his grab. Now his pummel is pretty... Uh, uh, pretty decent. Uh, 9% is a max that you can do. So, pretty decent. Uh, it works out well most of the time. Uh, you go now, um, for his throws, um, up throw, you can combo with this. Uh, not that much, but, um, it, it's okay. It's as close as he has to a combo foe, really. Uh, same with his down foe, only except for the fact that it only combos at 0%. After that, you literally can't do a thing. Um, forward throw and back throw are basically the same thing. Only back throw goes a little farther, but uh, not that much to be interesting. So I don't really use it that much. And it goes too far to combo, so... Yeah. Now, uh, so that's his throws. Not much for his throws. 
Now for specials, this is interesting. Uh, this is the first character that we're doing that doesn't actually have custom, so this will go a little faster. Um, so it's neutral special. You can charge it to make it As I was saying, you can charge it to make it uh, bigger and paralyze longer. Um, and it also goes farther when charged. And all of that jazz. It's also blue, so it's it's better because it's blue. But uh, th as for the usage of this, uh, there's this thing that I call uh, neutral special conditioning with this character. Which you can do with a lot of characters that we've gone over. Pretty much all of them, really. Um, except for, I think, one or two. But, uh, basically, they're neutral special projectiles. And you, you're you conditioning them to do a couple things. Either shield it. Um, you can just take the damage. And in this, instead of just taking the damage, he's being... A paralyzed uh, to compare to Pikachu, which basically resolves your kill. Uh, hopefully. Or if they shield it, you have a grab that's not that bad, but uh, not obviously as good as Pikachu. But uh, it's, it's not that bad of a conditional, it's just that uh, it hurts much more if you are hit by this. So, if you can catch them with this, you basic like, with the full charged one, you, then you basically secure the KO most of the time. Uh, so, yeah. As for side special, this is a very interesting move. As you can see, it latches into the ground, and then, uh, you can press a button to go. And this actually takes you with them. So you can you can kill them that way. Now he's not he doesn't have a very good recovery, so I wouldn't recommend this. But um, you can also kill them with the tip. Again, I think he's stealing moth. Um, but more importantly, this gives you a little a little. It helps you with ledge options because as you can see, you can go right into the side. Instead of being forced to grab the ledge or go right into the opponent, you can go right there and then attack. So, uh, it expands your ledge options a lot. Um, so, yeah. You can also use it to expand combos some of the time, but not, not a lot. It's pretty hard to hit. Um, so, I wouldn't really recommend it for that purpose. Now for his up special, uh, you're gonna, uh, just like his back air, this ends out combos, um, especially if you have zero jumps left, um, cause it, it basically kills if you get the whole thing near the very top of the stage, uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. Like that. I'd say, uh, I'd kind of compare it to Mario's, just not in that you just use it in normal combos. Well, technically, kind of all of it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. And his down special. This is the infamous counter. Seriously, is there a character that has a sword that does not have this? Well, actually, technically, there's two. Well, uh, yeah. His counter is pretty decent with uh, doing 10% and you're not taking any damage. And it doesn't really have any way it can backfire much, except for obviously if you spam it. No one likes to spam it. Uh, but yeah, so not really that bad. Although I will say that yeah, it's pretty slow for startup, so watch out for that. Anyways. Congrats, you have now made it to the most interesting part of the video, which is combos. So, uh, yeah. Four is combos. 
His combos basically stem from two great, I'll call them ancestors. Uh, you have his down tilt, and you have his down flow. Okay? Um, those are, those are the two things that we're going to mainly use. Uh, there are a couple uh, things that you can use too, that I'm not going to be mentioning because it basically, you can do it from the down tilt, like up tilt, that's also a good way to start it, but you can go down tilt into up tilt, but yeah, so, yeah, up tilt, up smash, couple other things work too, but I'm just going to be covering down tilt and down smash, or well, not down smash, uh, but down throw. Um, I'll start with down throw first. Down throw only really works at 0%. But yeah. So grab, down throw. Now you're just gonna be dashing just a little bit. Not gonna be dashing for a long time. Like, I'm, like don't count to one and you'll be fine. Okay? So like that. The reason why is that, watch, if I run... Uh, that, 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 I'm too good at this, so I did it perfect that time. See, that's what happens if I don't, uh, run, and that, and this is what happens if I run too much. Uh, it actually kind of works, but, I don't know, something's wrong with me today while I'm play too, playing too good. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Now, for the combo after that, you're going to be going into two fails. Into an up tilt. Like that, basically. 54% a lot of damage. Uh, now, they can escape from the down throw at 0%, I'm pretty sure. But if you... Yeah, that's an example of late. But if you can hit them with a fail, then you pretty much got the rest guaranteed. So fail, fail, up tilt. Now you don't have to do the up tilt because they can they actually can escape the up tilt. So instead of that, you can go into an up air. And do that. And I just missed the up special because I'm I don't know what happened there, but uh yeah. Uh there is a lot of other stuff that can that can go from uh, these moves, obviously, but these are just ideas to get people started. I'm no ultimate guide of any character, so... If you have any ideas besides this that work, uh, go ahead and post them in the comments. So, yeah. Now, um, for his up... Up throw. Up throw. There we go. But yeah, up smash. Not much comes from that, but normally you're just going to be going into up air and then back air. That's the main thing that comes from up air. So, yeah. Now, for his down tilt. This has a lot, a lot, and a lot of options. This is like literally combo city here. So. You down tilt, and then you really have two main options. Um, and ju just saying, the thing about the down tilt is that it doesn't matter what percent they're at, it like literally launches them at the same rate. So it's unlike his down throw whale, it goes really far after a while. It just stays like this, so very good. Uh, so you can either go into, and obviously you can go into other things, but yeah. So up tilt, or nail. Uh, no, that's not what I want, either. No, that's not out. That's not what I want. Well, you can short hop nail like that. So yeah, uh, just take my world foot or something because I'm being weird today. Uh, so yeah. Now from the nail, you can go into a lot of stuff. Um, you guys can brainstorm that. Uh, mainly, mainly you're just going to be using fails, uh, up air, up tilt, 
you know, stuff like that. It's basically your ground walk for most for most of your combos. Uh, but yeah. Now, um, for his up tilt, this has a lot of options, mainly at what percent they are at. So lower percents, uh, you do, uh, you can do double, double um, up tilt into back ale. That works. Or if they go, or if they go to the other way, then that's actually what you want, which goes uh, into a fail. If I can do this, yo. No, that's not what I want. Oh yeah, and you can also go into up, up smash. Well, there's a lot of things that you can go into, but um, yeah. <laughs> Some reason you can't do this. Oh yeah, up up air, that's what you want. But yeah, up air. And I'm tackling that zero percent here. Then you're gonna be going into a fail there. But yeah, I'm I'm basically just brainstorming things. I I obviously already wrote this down, but these obviously aren't uh, the only options. So yeah. As you saw it there, you can literally just make stuff up on the fly. So yeah. Um, I think that's enough combo time. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like. Just please. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, then subscribe and watch my other videos. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.